Uh, you said that Americans elect presidents based on the performance of the previous one. So Americans love Ronald Reagan, so they elected his vice premier, uh, uh, president, uh, George Bush Sr. To carry that forward, Bush Sr. then might have given us Clinton. Clinton gave us Bush Jr. Bush Jr. gave us Obama. Obama gave us Trump. Trump gave us Biden. Any thoughts on who Biden might give us? I mean, he may give it back to Trump or give it to DeSantis, but I don't think Biden's going to give it to himself again. That's for sure. I don't think it's going to be himself. I don't think it's going to be Kamala. I think uh, they're trying to uh, prepare Newsom for potentially to run. Pete doesn't have the ability to run. He's not marketable to run foreign affairs in the Middle East. It'll be tough. If Michelle Obama runs, she'll be a formidable opponent. But I think the, the biggest thing is the following. So, you know, Jeff Bezos is married to his wife for 25 years, and then they decided to get a divorce. Who does she remarry? A school teacher. Why? She is done being married with a super driven guy. It's like, go, 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 go. Finally, she's like, dude, I'm done. I, I just want a school teacher who gets up at three o'clock, does a little bit of homework, and then we can go have a drink. We can go have some wine. And it's just not that driven, not that ambitious. I'm done with it. But in about five years, she's going to be bored out of her mind. And she may be laying in bed next to him. And he's just doing the same exact thing. And he may say, I freaking miss that crazy psycho Jeff Bezos guy. Right? We're weird creatures. Right? You date a girl and it was insanely hot, crazy, tough, competitive, similar personality. And then... Constant arguing, fighting, and then you end up with somebody that you're like, I'm never dating a crazy girl like this again. This is way too much for me. I want somebody safe, solid, civil, you know, and then you're like, but we're, again, we're constantly going back and forth with anything that we do. You buy a sports car, it's too loud. The engine's too loud. I just want a Tesla. I just want a quiet car. You know what? I don't hear the engine. Where's the engine? A car shouldn't be a car without an engine. We're never happy. We are the creatures. We're never happy. Anything we get, we're eventually going to find a flaw in that one thing that we get, right? So whoever you have as a presidency, you know, typically we flip and we go, oh, it's all his fault. Oh, it's all his fault. Oh, it's all her fault. Oh, it's all his fault. And this is why America works. Because there's a pendulum going back and forth. The one area that is a problem is I would, I would like to see them be unified on certain things that we're on the same page with. Greatest country in the world, you know, the fact that, you know, no matter what happens, love thy neighbor, certain values and principles that we stay unified on. But yeah, America knows what they do. They get tired of a candidate, they flip to the other side very quickly. Why though? Because we're learning more and more and more that America is ran by 12% of voters. It's not the Democrats, the 47%. It's not the Republicans, the 44%. It's not the green, it's not the, you know, libertarian, it's ran by the independents. And that's eight to 12%. And independents are more easily to say, yeah, I kind of don't like the direction we're going, I'm gonna go this way. It's not the Democrats, it's not the Republicans. America is ran by independents.